Hi guys and welcome to Congenital Heart Week. This week's very exciting for me because I get to participate because I was born with a congenital heart defect. Congenital heart disease affects 1 in 100 babies born. So for that it's very, very common but it's still not very well known. I was born 36 years ago. My defect is um, pulmonary atresia with VSD and isomengers. The VSD is a large hole in the membrane between the left ventricle and the right ventricle. I have a massive hole in that membrane, which means that my deoxygenated and oxygenated blood mixes. The pulmonary atresia is in a normal heart, you have a pulmonary artery. In my heart, I don't have a pulmonary artery. So basically, my lungs are plugged onto my aorta, which means the pressure in my lungs is as high as it is in my body which is pretty high. My isomengers is caused by the VSD and because of this hole, it causes the heart to shunt, which again mixes the blood and causes the high blood pressure in the lungs. I was born with this condition. I've had this condition my whole life and yes, it impacts on me greatly, but I know my limits. I've learned to live with it. We live alongside each other and it is part of me. It makes me who I am. I, I'm not defined by it, but I certainly have to listen to it. And last year, if you've been watching my other videos, I've had to do a lot more listening to my heart condition. Because my condition is so complex, I've named the main um, terminologies for you, but there is more to mine. Um, lots of little plumbing issues and different things. There was no... Um, operation that I could have. I was born 36 years ago as I said. Back then you were lucky I think to have an x-ray done. You know there wasn't as great medical advances as we have now so my body has basically just gotten on with it and it has managed and learned to cope with it. Um, I think if I was born now there would be multiple operations they could offer me um, but yeah back then there wasn't so I guess I'm pretty lucky that I've managed to get this far with as little as I have had, although there's been quite a lot lately, but yeah. I feel very happy and proud to have congenital heart disease. I have met so many wonderful people because of it. I have been to many wonderful places because of it. And, you know, without it, I wouldn't be me. So I'm going to do a couple of videos this week to raise some awareness to, um, you know, if you haven't heard about heart disease, you want to know anything, please put a comment below and I will be more than happy to tell you my experiences, what I know. I can't tell you for everything and also the thing is with congenital heart disease, so you could have five babies with VSD, the hole between the pump chambers. Each one of them babies will be different. Their symptoms will be different. Their, some of their symptoms will be the same, but the way their bodies cope and the way they cope with it, everybody's different. And that's a hard thing. There's no one um, size fits all. So each case is more based on a holistic person by person care plan view, especially when we get to my age and a bit older because really... There is a generation before me, but before them, not many babies and congenital heart patients made it, which is very sad. But, which is good because they were the pioneers and because of them, we have more medical um, options available to us. We have surgeries, we have medicine, we have different things. So, you know, it's always changing. So even once I've made this video, probably in couple of months it'll all have changed again because that's how fast medicine is changing these days. So stick around if you're wanting to hear more about congenital heart disease, my congenital heart disease, my congenital heart story, hit the subscribe button and the bell and you will be informed when I've put the videos up and yeah we'll catch you soon. Take care guys, bye!